Hey, hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining me today. Let's talk about microphones. I'm going to talk about two major types of microphone situations. One is handheld microphones. Second is wearable microphones. So here I have a handheld microphone. This is actually a lav mic. It's actually a lapel mic, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be holding it. So the first thing is to make sure that it's close to your face, okay? So make sure it's very close. As you can see, this is probably one or two inches away from my mouth. Just keep in mind, as a speaker, as a presenter, your microphone is your voice. So if you don't have a very clear, crisp sound uh, that the microphone can transmit, then your voice is going to suffer. And as a result, your message and your presentation is going to suffer. The audience is not going to have as good of an experience, okay? So make sure that it's close enough to your face, not that it's down here. A lot of times speakers will be speaking, they'll just be kind of completely oblivious to the fact that they're not loud enough that the audience can't hear them clearly enough um, make sure you're here and keep in mind also like you'll see this on panel discussions like you'll see one panelist holding the microphone very close very close to their mouth and another panelist will hold the microphone like way down here or something and you can immediately hear the difference in their volume uh, between the two panelists voices so make sure it's close enough to your face Secondly, don't cover your face, okay? So a lot of times you'll see singers or rappers do this, where they're holding the microphone out horizontally like this, right? And um, there's a number of reasons why they do that. I think mostly to just maintain control of the microphone while they're moving around or dancing or performing, or they might hold it with two hands like this. But as you can see, this is covering the lower half of your face whenever you do this type of thing. So as a speaker, as a presenter, you want to be... You want to have your face and all your facial expressions clearly visible to the audience. So hold the microphone vertically, not horizontally. Uh, number three is to make sure that your microphone hand is stationary, or at least that the microphone itself is stationary at all times. So it's natural to make lots of hand gestures while you're talking. What I'll do typically as I'm speaking in public is I'll transfer the microphone from one hand to the next like this while I'm making hand gestures. So this enables me to make hand gestures while I'm speaking for emphasis. This, and uh, as we know with hand gestures, this is uh, body language, it's nonverbal communication. So it enables the audience to actually retain your message more completely than if you were not using hand gestures. But you see what I'm doing is I'm just switching the microphone back and forth between my two hands so the microphone always remains steady so that way there's a steady flow of my voice my voice doesn't come in and out what you don't want to be doing is this moving your hands around and moving the microphone around at the same time as you can see the quality of my voice comes in and out the volume goes up and down while I'm making these hand gestures this is something that a lot of inexperienced people do with microphones if they're new to microphones because they're making hand gestures as they're speaking. They're very expressive, so that's good. But the problem is their voice suffers, makes it very difficult for the audience to completely hear what you're saying. And it's also, quite frankly, kind of annoying. So uh, just be aware of that, okay? So be aware of, of the movement and the position. Same thing, uh, not just with hands, but also with your face, right? So if you're turning your head this way, every time you turn your head, you know, you, be aware that your voice is being projected out in a different direction. So if you have to turn your head, let's say to look at somebody this way, or to make a uh, to make a gesture, or to acknowledge somebody on that side of the room, or to point at something over there, or to speak uh, to something that's on the screen on your PowerPoint deck over here, make sure that you're bringing the microphone along with you every time you move your head. Otherwise, this is what's going to happen. The quality of your voice is going to go in and out again. You know, for me as the speaker, I don't notice any of these things. I'm just talking as normally. But for you as the audience, you're going to see that the microphone, uh, you're going to notice that my voice uh, is losing volume. It's going to interfere with the audience experience. So that's just overall placement and being very, very conscientious of where your voice is and where your mouth is relative to the microphone. Uh, make sure you test the microphone before the speech begins so you should never have to get on stage and say can everybody hear me you should know that everybody can hear you because you tested it and practiced and fil uh, figured out all the issues with the sound crew in advance before you started your speech uh, so that's uh, handheld microphones now let's talk about wearable microphones so i'm going to clip this on the basic thing to keep in mind here is to make sure that 
you don't, you don't want to interfere or brush up against the microphone if you can avoid it. Okay, anytime you make a hand gesture, anytime you gesture to yourself like this, like for me, this is really important, you know, that's going to interfere with the microphone. That's going to create a bad sound experience for your audience. Again, this is not something that you as the speaker are going to notice. You're just moving your hands. You're just making hand gestures normally. Uh, but uh, it's something that the audience will pick up on. It will either annoy them or it will interfere with their ability to understand what you're saying. Also, if you have long hair, make sure that your long hair is not brushing up against the microphone. Make sure that any jewelry like necklaces or any other objects that you're wearing are not, you know, clicking against the microphone like that. Everything should be clear and clean so you have a nice clear sound. If you're on, uh, if you're on TV or media appearance, the sound crew, the production crew should be able to figure those little details out, but you know, mistakes happen. So you're the last line of defense as the speaker, so make sure that the microphone is nice and clear, everything, uh, there's no interference or anything. Same idea like if, you're, if it's a wearable microphone, but it's like one of these headsets, uh, make sure that it's not brushing up against your face like that. Uh, or that, if you, again, if you have long hair or like earrings, for example, that it's not going to be interfering with the microphone. Okay, so those are some tips on microphones. We looked at handheld and also wearable microphones. Um, keep those things in mind, especially if you're new to using microphones in public speeches and presentations. And I'll see you next time.